So there's a command that you as a player can type into this game that says slash list. When you press it, you get this box that comes up that shows all the connected players on that server. Now it shows you the player name, the level, the race, and the class. And then underneath it, it shows you which location that player is in. Now by default, it doesn't show any of that. All that list does is show the player's name and the ping and the player ID. That's it. So you don't get the level, you don't get the race, you don't get any of that. So you don't know what level anyone is in the server. So that's where I'm going to go be going into the code of how you can implement this on your own server. Or if you're not running a server, maybe you could just watch and learn a little bit about Lua code and how that integrates into the data files of a game and where it's pulling that information from. So let's go and look at these configuration scripts because they're pretty cool. I'm excited about it and I just want to make a video to talk about it. Let's get into it. So first thing, I'm just going to exit the game. We don't need to play. We just need to code. Before I show you the script that the game is currently running off of, let me show you the default script so you know what to compare it to. Within the server data files, you go under scripts and you go under graphic user and you open up the GUI helper. Under the GUI helper, there's a block of code that is specifying that command the slash list. So it just needs list because slash isn't part of the command, it's just the part that enables the command, you know, binds the command to work. So the command is just list and it's saying equal parameter. When you type in list, it's gonna pull the name of the player and it's gonna pull the player ID and it's gonna pull the average ping of the player. And by the way, this part of the syntax is just referencing where it's getting the average ping from. In order to add more to this, first we gotta figure out what we wanna add to it. In the server, there's also information about the players. So if you go under data, under player, let's say we open up Balin over here, click on edit, so now we can see a name, we can see a gender, race, we can see what kind of class it is, what's the birth sign, we can see what kind of major skills they have. So let's say I wanted to put in, instead of putting in the name, I want to put in the level. One would think that I could just delete this and type in level, but that's actually not going to work because it doesn't see it as level. The way that Lua looks at the code is it has to go into the specific locations of where those parameters are. So instead of typing in level, we're going to type in data dot and here we go under stats. So we do stats dot and then level. So then it's going to know to pull the level directly from this stats block. Otherwise, it, does, it doesn't know wh what level is. It doesn't know where it's pulling that level word from. Another thing we could do is, you know, we can put in the reputation even. For that, you would type in data.fame.reputation. You know, these are all things that we can edit. Let's hop on over to my virtual machine where the server is, and you can look at the code there. Now we're over on our VM. So here's the code that I created for the VM. And you can use v Visual Studio Code you know, you can get the plugins for it and start using that. I've got Visual Studio Code running on this VM as well, but just for the sake of this tutorial, not everyone has that installed, you can use Notepad. So this is what I've created for it. And I've made it look a little bit nicer, but better to read. But we can see that here, we're pulling a name, we're pulling the level, the race, we're putting the custom class in there, we're putting the location of the cell and the location of the region, and the player ID number. I took out ping just because I don't think anyone's looking at that through the slash list. You can find the ping elsewhere. And the interesting part about Lua is that you could put in these colors. And now these colors, the only reason it works with this syntax is because we already have something called color.lua. So here it's saying color.aqua when in in Lua code you would have to take this code right here and put that 
where this parameter is. But since we've already defined that variable within our data files, we don't have to put in the codes anymore. We can just do color dot the color that we want. And that makes it very user friendly. That's what makes Lua so cool is that you can just, you can add on extra scripts like that. So that's all I wanted to share with you guys today. I hope you found some value in this video and I'm going to be tinkering a lot more with this because I'm pretty excited about this and I want to learn a lot more on what I can do with this program and I want to share it with you guys so that we can modify our servers to make it play however, however we want them to and have a lot of fun because Morrowind is an awesome game. Thank you for watching, have a great day.